So welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject Community Health Nursing. The topic for the day is Occupational Health Nursing Part 2. I have already uploaded a video of Occupational Health Nursing or Occupational Health Diseases in Part 1 with the introduction, definitions, aims, objectives and the in detail and in depth about the Occupational Health Hazards. If you have not seen the video or you have not watched the video, please refer and watch that video first and I have already uploaded of the second part of the video that is the first session of pneumoconiosis and its classification. You have not watched and seen this video, please refer and go through the first session of the video of second part that is pneumoconiosis and its classification. Today is the second session of the video of pneumoconiosis and its classification that is organic dust related pneumoconiosis. Today, I would like to discuss about the organic dust related pneumoconiosis in detail and in depth. So, there are mainly three classification. One is related to dust and second one is related to formation of fibrosis. So, related to dust, we have two classification that is First classification according to origin of the dust. So, pneumoconiosis can be classified according to origin of dust. And second one is according to the type of the dust. So, pneumoconiosis can be classified according to the type of dust. Then third classification is pneumoconiosis can be classified according to the presence of fibrosis. So, first one is according to origin of the dust. There are two classification that is Origin of dust can be classified into organic dust and inorganic dust. That is organic and inorganic. Second, according to the type of the dust, pneumoconiosis can be classified into silicosis, silicatosis, metalloconiosis, carboconiosis, mixed dust and others. Silicosis, silicatosis, metalloconiosis, Carboconiosis, mixed dust that is both organic and inorganic dust and others. Last one is according to the group that is formation of the fibrosis, major pneumoconiosis, minor pneumoconiosis and benign pneumoconiosis. So the classification of pneumoconiosis is general. This classification I have been already uh, uploaded in the first session of the video of pneumoconiosis and its uh, classification. You can go through that video and understand better about the all the classifications of pneumoconiosis. The first classification is according to origin of the dust. That is, there are two type of dust that is organic dust and inorganic dust according to its origin. Organic dust includes can fiber dust, cotton dust, tobacco dust, hay grain dust. The main or important organic dust are cane fiber dust, cotton dust, tobacco dust and hay grain dust. So, can fiber dust may lead to the pneumoconiosis is called as bagasosis, B-A-G-A-S-S-O-S-I-S, that is bagasosis. From cotton dust, the pneumoconiosis is called as bisinosis or bisinosis, B-Y-S-S-I-N-O-S-I-S, that is bisinosis or bisinosis. Then from tobacco dust, that may lead to tobacosis, T-O-B-A-C-C-O-S-I-S. Then last from hay grain dust is known as farmer's lung disease. So the pneumoconiosis from hay grain dust is called as farmer's lung diseases. So let us discuss in detail about the organic dust related pneumoconiosis. Sometimes you may have a differentiate between this type of pneumoconiosis or sometimes you may have a short note about the particular pneumoconiosis like bagasosis, bisinosis, etc. So let us discuss in detail about the organic dust related pneumoconiosis. In that first one is pneumoconiosis from the cane fiber dust that is called as bagasosis. Let us discuss about the bagasosis. Bagasosis is an allergic pneumonitis. It is an allergic pneumonitis caused by the inhalation of the dried bagasse dust. So, sugar cane dust is also known as bagasse dust, B-A-G-A-S-S-E, bagasse dust or it is commonly known as sugar cane dust. 
after the sugar water has been processed from the sugar cane this the, the dust is called as bagasse dust or sugar cane dust inhalation of this bagasse dust will lead to bagosis it is first reported in india by ganguly and pal in 1955 so bagosis is first reported in india in 1955 in a cardboard manufacturing firm near kolkata next is occurrence or occupational exposure of bagosis usually as you know it is from the sugarcane industry and or exposure to the bagasse that is sugarcane waste in india we have a large sugarcane industries so earlier the sugarcane fiber or that bagasse were thrown away we were not using for anything but now this waste is utilized for some other purpose like manufacturing of paper cardboard rayons etc because of that the employees are or workers are exposed to this bagasse that may lead to bagosis then organism that is basically present in the bagasse is called thermophilic actinomycet it is known as thermo actinomyce sachari it is a family of gram positive endospore forming bacteria that is usually present from the bagasse dust that means the bagasse dust when it kept for a long period that may lead to uh it increase the temperature of that bagasse so that may lead to production of certain organism that is called as thermophilic actinomycet the pathology of the disease is initially there will be acute bronchiolitis so initially acute bronchiolitis later that may lead to fibrosis of the lung the clinical feature of the worker with bagosis will include acute fever breathlessness cough hemoptysis then reduced to oxygen saturation and uh, that may lead to impairment of the pulmonary functions of the employee those who have a uh, bagosis then diagnosis it can be diagnosed by occupational history history taken from the employee or workers who have been uh, exposed for a prolonged period for the bagus then clinical presentations or clinical manifestation or features the radiological examination x ray of the patient there will be feature of bronchitis so x ray can give specific feature of the bronchitis in acute cases that is there will be a shadow lung if the person is not having that uh, bagosis the x ray will be normal or if the person is suffering from uh, bagosis and bronchitis that uh, x ray will show a specific uh, feature of the x ray is that is shadow lung the next is complication of bagosis bagosis if kept uh, uh, untreated that may lead to diffuse fibrosis formation of fibrosis in the lungs then that may even lead to emphysema and bronchiectasis the treatment will be usually as per the symptoms symptomatic treatment can be given with corticosteroids actually for uh, uh, pneumoconiosis there is no treatment only that prevention and control measures preventive measures are very important measures we have mainly uh, four measures that is first one is or most important one is dust control and second is personal protection employees protection with the personal protective equipments like mask respirator etc then medical control of the workers and the last one is control of the bagasse waste let us discuss in detail first one is dust control there are many dust control measures as a preventive measure such as a wet process wetting the bagasse then enclosed approaches that is covering of the bagasse then exhaust ventilation providing exhaust ventilation in the industry or in the factory then second one is personal protection by personal protective equipments so personal protective equipments such as mask respirator with mechanical filters or respirators with the oxygen or other air supply etc the third one is medical control so control of a person by making initial medical checkup and periodical medical checkup to detect the early symptom of the bagosis the last preventive measure is bagasse control control of the bagasse or sugarcane waste so early disposal of the sugarcane flax so early disposal second one is keeping the moisture content of the bagasse above 20% that is keeping the moisture content of the bagasse above 20% the next one is spraying the bagasse with 2% propionic acid it is a fungicide so spraying the bagasse with 2% propionic acid after that it can be safely utilized for the manufacturing use of the for making paper cardboard rayons etc these are the important the preventive measures of bagasse so that is dust control personal protection by ppe that is personal protective equipments so medical control of the employee by conducting medical checkup and control of the bagasse itself 
The second dust is the cotton dust that may lead to bisinosis. Let us discuss in detail about the bisinosis. Bisinosis is a pneumoconiosis due to inhalation of the cotton fiber dust for a prolonged period of the time. So, exposure of the cotton fibers dust for a prolonged period will lead to uh, bisinosis that is a pneumoconiosis. Usually, the workers will be more exposed with the bisinosis when they clean the uh, machines. So, when handling the machines used for the cleaning purpose. Like a sugarcane industry, India also has a large textile industry. It employs more than 30% of the factory workers in India. That is another significant of the bisinosis. The incidence rate of bisinosis is nearly 7 to 8% of the pneumoconiosis. The cotton dust pneumoconiosis or bisinosis also known with the different other names such as Monday fever, Monday fever, brown lung disease, brown lung disease, mill fever, cotton workers lung disease, cotton workers lung disease, etc. So, so these are the other names for bisinosis. Next is occurrence or occupational exposure to bisinosis, especially from textile industries, workers with cotton, hemp, flax, jute, kapok or workers, those who are working in a spinning mills, all are exposed to uh, bisinosis. Next is pathology of bisinosis. Bisinosis is usually looks like uh, asthma symptoms only. And of course, there are more permanent lung damages in bisinosis that may lead to or that may indicate like uh, COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Then later it may lead to chronic bronchitis and emphysema. So, symptoms of bisinosis as uh, same as uh, asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Later, it can lead to chronic bronchitis and uh, emphysema. Next is the clinical features of the bisinosis. The symptoms of bisinosis is similar to asthma and which includes a uh, tightness in the chest, wheezing, fever, chronic dry cough, that is unproductive cough, progressive dyspnea, breathing difficulty or breathlessness, hemoptysis, Muscles and joint pain, shivering, tiredness, etc. So, these are the common symptoms of the bisinosis that is looks like or which is similar to asthmatic symptoms. Next is diagnosis of bisinosis. First one is history of the exposure of the employees. Then uh, physical examination which includes uh, signs and symptoms uh, looks like asthma and what we have already discussed. In bisinosis, both uh, total lung capacity and vital capacity will be decreased. So, decreased total lung capacity and uh, vital capacity. Then radiological findings or X-ray findings will lead to no specific changes in the early stages. But later there will be changes that may indicate the chronic bronchitis and uh, emphysema. There is no specific treatment for uh, pneumoconiosis, even for bisinosis also. We can uh, only the measures we have to take for prevention and uh, control. So, primary prevention is the key to prevent the pneumoconiosis or bisinosis. In that major two measures are one is dust control measure that is rigorous dust control measures that is proper dust control by making good housekeeping in the factory or industries that is cleaning. Then Use of personal protective equipments for the employees like mask, respirator, etc. And having adequate exhaust ventilation in the factory and industries other measures to dust control. Then second one is regular physical examination of the employees and pe periodical examination of the employees to detect the early symptoms of the bisinosis. Then other common preventive and control measures can be applied in, in prevention of bisinosis. The third organic dust is tobacco that may lead to Tobacosis. The pneumoconiosis from tobacco dust is called as tobacosis. So, the term tobacosis denotes not only the pneumoconiosis but also it collectively all the diseases re resulting from the smoking of tobacco, chewing of tobacco, snuffing of tobacco and from breathing of the different tobacco smoke from the tobacco industry and tobacco factories. So, inhalation of the tobacco for a prolonged period that may lead to tobacosis. Next organic dust is the hay grain dust. Hay grain dust pneumoconiosis will lead to farmer's lung disease. Farmer's lung disease. Let us discuss in detail about the farmer's lung disease. Farmer's lung disease is a, an allergic disease or it is an, a hypersensitivity pneumonitis caused by the inhalation of the biologic dust coming from the hay dust, corn, grass from animal feed, 
then grain dust etc together it is known as high grain dust the farmers lung diseases are widespread in india because majority of the population is uh, engaged with uh, agricultural occupation thus it is an important uh, occupational pneumoconiosis that is farmers lung disease the main positive agent of the farmers lung diseases is micropolyspora fini so it is formed when the grain dust or hay dust uh, uh, moisture content increases more than 30 percentage there is a possibility of the rapid growth of bacteria and fungi that may lead to increase the temperature of the hay grain dust that is 40 to 50 degree celsius so increased temperature of the hay grain dust encourage the growth of thermophilic actinomyces which cause the farmers or which may lead to farmers lung disease so this is the cause of the farmers lung disease Next is clinical features or clinical manifestation. Acute illness will lead to general and respiratory symptoms and various physical signs. The repeated attack of farmer's lung disease will lead to pulmonary fibrosis, fibrosis of the lungs and uh, damage of the lungs, that is pulmonary damage and later it will lead to core pulmonary. The preventive measures are same like uh, rigorous dust control measures uh, by good housekeeping, maintaining good housekeeping and using a uh, personal protective uh, Measures with the personal protective equipments, mask, respirators, etc. Then regular physical examination of the workers or employees in the factory or industry to detect the early signs and symptoms of the uh, farmer's lung disease. So, so far we have discussed about the organic dust related pneumoconiosis. This is the second session of the video. Hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams. If you feel it is really worth and benefit, please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with the third session of the videos of pneumoconiosis and its classification that is nothing but inorganic dust related pneumoconiosis